Hello everybody, Twitch Nitro here, and today we're going to take a in-depth look at mob difficulty, specifically region difficulty. So as most of you know, uh, in the 1.6 update, there was this new concept introduced called regional difficulty. And I have been around and I've seen some people and there seems to be a lot of dogma, uh, a lot of false facts flying about the place, and um, but a lot of good information as well mixed in with that. So it's confusing to know what is and isn't true when it comes to regional difficulty and what regional difficulty is. So I'm hopefully going to explain in this sort of tutorial styled video what regional difficulty is in, uh, in this test world. So firstly, I'm going to I'm going to explain what regional difficulty is. Um, so many people are probably familiar with the concept of chunks. Uh, they're those things that fail to render sometimes, and those 16 by 16 block areas. Each of these areas has a value. Now, as long as it's loaded, so as long as you're in the area around said chunk, uh, all the chunks around you have a value that is slowly increasing and uh, this value plays an extremely important part in um, in the difficulty the regional difficulty because the higher the number is the more likely let's say a skeleton will spawn with armor the mobs get more geared up uh, slightly stronger you know stuff like that so what changes with them well as regional difficulty increases they have a higher percent chance of getting armor, if they can have armor. Spiders have a higher percent chance of getting a potion effect when they spawn. The armor that they get has a higher percentage chance of being enchanted. The, uh, the weapons that they get have a higher percentage enchant you know, chance of being enchanted with stronger enchantments. Um, and also, in the case of zombies, uh, they have a higher percentage chance of uh, when you hit them, they'll spawn another zombie. Um, so all of these factors are increased. Now, I've heard some people say that creepers increase in speed with difficulty, uh, that creepers, um, the fuse decreases on them, or the explosive radius increases. Those, those are false. Uh, I have not seen anything in my testing to suggest that creepers get buffed at all, they seem to have no effect, regional difficulty seems to have no effect on creepers whatsoever. So creepers, I'm not going to say don't worry about them, but I'm going to say they're not going to get harder with regional difficulty. Now, for a single person to make an area its most lethal, because there is a maximum uh, where the number stops, well it doesn't stop counting up, but it just doesn't make any difference anymore. Once that, uh, that maximum gets reached at about 50 hours of gameplay. You have to spend 50 hours around a certain area. If you're on a multiplayer server, however, the time obviously drops with the more people there are. So, if there was 50 people spending time in an area, it would only take an hour. So the more people on your server, so this is particularly uh, prevalent around the spawn chunks, the more people around the server there are, the harder it's going to be. Now, I've talked quite a bit here already, and I haven't really shown anything off. So let's get to my test area. So what we're going to do is we're going to teleport over to an area. There we go. I set it up, but all all of these, uh, this spawn area that we're going to use here, each of these chunks have the lowest possible setting. So I'm going to turn it to hard mode, and then let some, uh, let some mobs spawn in, and we're going to check out what they're wearing. So if we let these guys spawn in a bit, come on, a few more please, a couple more than that. Now obviously hard mode is going to make it slightly more difficult, mobs are going to hit harder. In the case of zombies, uh, the amount of damage they do is dependent on how much health they have. Um, also, baby zombies, a little fact about them, um, baby zombies don't increase, the chances of a baby sp uh, zombie spawning doesn't increase with regional difficulty, so you don't have to worry about that. So as you can see, most of these mobs, well, pretty much all of these mobs, they don't have enchanted gear, they don't have gear. That's the only thing with gear, and it's just a shovel. None of these spiders have potion effects on them. Pretty, pretty layman, you know, pretty average. So let's turn that off and go back to 
the original sp uh, chunks that I was at. Now I've edited... where are they? <laughs> I've edited these four chunks to be slightly special, and we should see immediately a difference if we let mobs spawn here. Now these are at the maximum difficulty setting uh, for regional difficulty alone. And if we let some stuff spawn in, there we go. We should see a rather large increase in the amount of, you know, this this guy here he has a uh, golden set here, and he's got enchanted gear, enchanted gear, and almost full leather, full gold. It's uh, it's not a not a pretty sight. Now this was a rather um, underperforming test. In sometimes you can get even more to uh to spawn with hard stuff on. There we go. Instantly, bam, bam, we're seeing pretty terrible mob things. You wouldn't want to come up against these in a fight. Now, it's not just regional difficulty that you have to be aware of when it comes to difficulty. There's lunar difficulty as well. Oh yes. Oh yes. Lunar difficulty. And I believe a chainmail, a full chainmail guy just spawned in. So, Lunar Difficulty. What is Lunar Difficulty? You've probably never heard of it. Um, lunar Difficulty is pretty much the same as Regional, but it just goes on the Lunar Cycle. So right now, we have no Moon. And I've done that deliberately. Now if we time add 24,000, we can rotate the Moon. A full Moon. If we have a full moon and we conduct the same test, remember this is the area that's easy. This is easy mode area. And remember the results from before where we got barely anybody with enchanted stuff, barely anybody with armor. This should turn out slightly difficult, uh, slightly differently than before because we have a full moon. So during a full moon, it is usually the case, it will increase the chances, once again, of uh, things spawning with nasty things like <clears throat> potion effects and... Uh, and there we go, that's that's bit better. More stuff spawned in there. There we go, we have a regeneration spider here. That's pretty nasty. This guy's got a, uh, a, a nasty bow. There's our old shovel guy again, he's, he's spawned. <laughs> Let's do another test again, because I've seen this in the past spawn some pretty nasty stuff with game. So yeah, lunar difficulty, depending on how much of the moon is full, depends on how much of the difficulty chances are increased. So this is what it's meant when regional difficulty and lunar difficulty, uh, it just increases the chances of geared mobs spawning with better gear and... Yep, see? Before we weren't, we weren't really seeing any this frequency, this frequency of items. Now I've test tested the hard area with the hard lunar, uh, the the full moon lunar, before, and uh, and I didn't really notice too much of an increase, but I think it does stack on top of that. So now we should be seeing even more iron armor. I haven't ran this test enough times for it to be accurate, but yeah. So that's, yeah, so this is just me talking quickly about um, difficulty settings. I hope this has uh, helped dispel some of the myths. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments, and I will try my hardest to, uh, to answer them. So that's two things to keep an eye out on. Also, uh, a full moon will cause slimes to spawn in swamps, the above ground slimes. It'll, it'll cause them to spawn more of them. Uh, something to <laughs> note if you live in a swamp. But yeah, creepers, unaffected, endermen, uh, unaffected as far as I know, spiders, more chance for potions, zombies, more chance for armor and better armor, and better chance of, if you hurt them, them spawning something else. And with the skeletons, just better armor again. And, uh, and remember, it's about 50 hours of playtime in an area, uh, less if there are more people. Obviously, if there's two people, it'll take half the time, and so on and so forth. So yeah. Again, leave a like, it really helps me out, and uh, I'll see you guys in another video. And uh, be careful out there, <laughs> it's a dangerous place now. It's a dangerous, dangerous place.
Bye, everybody.